Like here, he's saying, uh, oh, you know, no, double chin bad. No, 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 grab this jawser size thing, put it in your mouth, chew it like a maniac for years on end. And then before you know it, you're gonna look like goddamn Womp from Super Mario 64. So guys, Derek from ourplacemortage.com. Today we are going to be talking about the CEO of Jawline. This is uh, Luca Marchesi, I think. Um, a bunch of you guys have been taking me in a shit over the past few weeks. Um, this guy, well, he self-proclaimed the CEO of Jawline, but I don't think anyone would have a problem giving him that title because the guy's Jawline's fucking mental and i am just going to mute the tiktoks because they are just songs he does not actually talk in any of them so he basically like look at this shit dude is this this is literally a fucking cement block inserted in this guy's head so from certain angles it looks like normal obviously and then when he takes up the jaws or size thing and he's like flexing the shit out of his jaw you can see just how developed it is now, he gets a lot of heat online for how developed it is, but it also helps him uh, build his following, obviously, because who the fuck has a jawline that looks like this? Like, no one. So, um, like, most of his TikToks are literally just showing his head to music or showing himself shirtless or putting in the jaws or size thing and just, like, trying to look uh, as hot as possible, pretty much. He's trying to be, like... Uh, it's like a jaw thirst trap TikTok, which is kind of interesting. Now, some people were actually sending me ads that had, I don't know if this guy is being used by those companies, like he's actually being paid by them, or they're just like basically using his shit without his permission in order to sell their jaws or size things. But I've seen him in some of the ads before for some of this like jaw um, hypertrophy kind of uh, like ball things that you just like stick in your mouth and you just chew on like a motherfucker all day and so i don't know if he's actually financially incentivized to make these videos in order to sell these things or not or if people are just ripping them off in order to do that but you can just imagine like for example a guy in the fitness industry who has the best genetic six-pack you know insertions or something it would not be uncommon for them to end up selling some sort of ebook on six pack or like, you know, this is my, uh, the way I do it in order to get a six pack, even though we all know it's basically just genetic. Now, does that mean you can't grow your jawline with actual manual exercises? Like, no, like you definitely can. And that's something I actually, uh, Mike Mew from the, uh, orthotropics channel or whatever has brought up many times about, um, keeping your like you don't just mew, you also, if you want to develop everything fully, you would also like use uh, bolus chewing techniques in order to kind of keep everything in a line as it's, you know, um, developing, which I'll get into soon, but I actually bought a fuck ton of, uh, there's, I couldn't get mastic gum in Canada. I can only get phallum gum, which is like uh, another like sugar-free gum that seems to work. And I totally forgot I even had it until uh, this video just reminded me of that shit because this is something I was like, pretty into a year and a half ago looking at the whole uh, uh, malocclusion thing in order for uh, sleep apnea um, fixing as well as, you know, just like facial development purposes and whatnot. But the thing to note is this guy, like it's it comes down to mostly just body fat and genetics at the end of the day. And yeah, obviously you can, you know, influence the way things develop significantly throughout your youth with, uh, you know, the posture and whatnot. Um, as an adult, how much change are you really going to make um, like the major change is going to be through dietary intervention. Like the difference for me now, bulking versus, you know, a year ago when I'm, uh, or I don't know, like half a year ago, even when I'm, um, in the middle of, uh, a prolonged deficit, it's, it's night and day. And so for this guy, you know, to kind of be attributing his success to this jaws or size thing and not really just explaining that, Hey bro, like this is, <laughs> this is a fucking genetic thing. Um, it seems kind of silly to me, he, but then again, he doesn't talk in any of his videos. He put, he puts this thing in like every few videos though, chews on it like a maniac and then shows his shit, his goddamn cement brick house head. So I would be surprised if he didn't have some sign of some sort of financial motivation via whatever those companies are. 
Um, let's see, actually here it says uh, glow up 16 to 23. So as you can see, whatever age this was, obviously developed as fuck. Is there a trans? Okay, there we go. So this is the before. Dude, that was at 16? The fuck? This is 16 years old? Jesus Christ, dude. Anyways, maybe I'm reading this wrong, but I'm assuming this is 16 to 23. So anyway, this is what he looks like now with the uh, full-blown um, chiseledness. Not that, it, but again, his baseline chiseled as fuck as well. So is it just this jaws or size thing? No, obviously not. And to kind of imply it as such is just ridiculous. 2016, training my jaw. Now it's fucking insane. So, you know, buy my thing. Obviously not, dude. So it's like, it's like guys who have, well, there was like that ab stimulator, stupid fucking thing that like Noah Beck was trying to sell on TikTok. He like has abs and he's like, oh yeah, this thing like helps so much. And it does fucking nothing. Maybe that maybe that's a bad comparison because some of the bolus chewing can actually cause, you know, hypertrophy. You're literally training um, a muscle group essentially. But to the extent that it's going to transform you from a guy with like no jaw to a guy like, <laughs> like, like this, like obviously that's not going to happen. Um, like his entire fucking thing is based around his jawline, which is crazy. Um, if you go all the way back to the beginning, let's see what his first post was. Let's see if it's always been about the jaw. Like here, he's saying, oh, you know, no, double chin bad. No, no, no. Grab this jaws or size thing. Put it in your mouth. Chew it like a fucking maniac for years on end. And then before you know it, you're going to look like goddamn Womp from Super Mario 64. Like obviously... <laughs> Obviously fucking not, dude. So anyway, the guy's been, uh, you know, promoting this jaw thing for his entire duration of his TikTok platform. Some people think it's overkill, apparently. There was this uh, article made about him. John Normus, male model, showcases bizarre facial transformation after training his jaw. Um, t after two months training jaw. Let's see what it says. Uh, what it shows here. Let's see what they do with the music that is probably copyrighted. Oh, they didn't even surprise. They didn't mute it after two months training jaw. Dude, like obviously, <laughs> obviously you already had the genetic baseline. You weren't just like developing this from scratch. So anyway, let's see what it says in the article. Male model has showed off its dramatic jaw transformation after years of training in a bid to get the perfect chiseled look. But some fans on TikTok reckon he's taken it too far and say he now resembles our cartoon character. He calls himself the CEO of Jawline in his TikTok bio, and with one look at his videos, it's not hard to see why. Although his jaw is definitely more shaped than two months ago, the Italian model has been training his face for some time, gradually changing the shape of his jaw. But viewers were shocked this time around when the male, when the model revealed his almost triangle-shaped jawline, which is bulging on the sides of his face. The clip showing off the bizarre transformation has racked up more than 1.9 million views. He revealed that he'd been training his jaw for years, showing it off after every couple months. Um, he admitted his face shape was completely different before. Even say it was round and not all that chiseled. So I guess this is him as a uh, as a kid here. Then this is him training his jaw in 2016. This is him now. Let's see. He chomps down on a device which strengthens his face muscles. He's happy with his new chiseled look, but TikTok user think he's gone too far. I'm going to turn into a triangle soon if you don't calm down, one person wrote. Um, many wondered what he looked like before. So Lucas shared a series of snaps showing off his before and after look. Some footage dates back to 2016 when he looked almost unrecognizable, while others were just two months ago where his jaw was slightly smaller. Um, despite his model looks, Luca insisted he wasn't always a heartthrob as he revealed younger photos of, photos of himself where he appeared scrawnier. Following the criticism of his new chiseled jaw, Luca revealed in another clip that he was going to delete TikTok, according to Lad Bible. Speaking in the clip, he said, I wanted to make a short announcement. I intend to close this TikTok account. I'm sorry for everyone who follows me, but by now, out of five comments, I get four or insults or criticisms. Well, when every video you're doing is about your jawline and it's like super overdeveloped, like I can imagine like why that would be happening. It'd be like... It'd be like if a fucking like synthol guy had a TikTok account. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration because synthol is like not even really presentable. Whereas this guy's face, like objectively, is like good looking. His jaw is just overdeveloped as fuck to a point that people are like, eh, when he goes like way too hard trying to flex it and make it look as insane as possible. But it's sort of like 
if a guy, you know, with like overdeveloped arms or something had a TikTok and all he fucking did was just like flexing every two seconds, you know, obviously people are going to think you are a narcissist, you know, get a bunch of comments about how you look like a fucking cloud or some, I don't know, like all the shit you would imagine from having a ridiculously 0.0001% overdeveloped as fuck fill in the blank body part. Like people are going to comment on it, obviously, especially if that's what your following is built around. Um, he's, this is a picture of him at 18. Okay. So maybe the last thing wasn't him at 16 because he looks like a kid here. Whereas the other one, he looked like a fucking grown man. He revealed he weighed 230 pounds when he was 18 years old, saying it was not a good time. <laughs> that was 230. I was, it was not a good time. He revealed he'd just broken up with a girlfriend, which made him feel like, feel that she no longer liked me physically and that I had grown too big. He reportedly started looking into modeling agencies, but just months later struggled because of the size of his size and round face. I remember that I shot at least five or six I shot at it at least five or six and they all rejected me because I was too big and had a face that was too round, he explained. So again, this all comes down to body fat. Like the, uh, where's the picture of his physique I saw before? Okay, so I was trying to find this video and I just, I finally found it. It was, uh, I forgot where I saw it originally, but it's showing him probably around that time frame where they told him he needed to lose weight um, for the modeling gigs. And you can see why, like he was saying his face is rounder. Is it because he wasn't doing the jaws or size shit? Like, no, he's just bulked up as fuck. Like you can see how much how fucking big his even his quads and shit like everything is just filling everything out obviously he has good facial structure so even when he gains a lot of fat in his face it doesn't look too bad but you can see the blatant difference the guy is a a circle here compared to a a womp normally when, and he's like filling out these jeans like you can tell it looks like he probably needs a bigger size here almost so he's like fully bulked up here and then needed to lose a significant amount of weight for modeling, which he did. And then he ends up, you know, down to whatever he is, where he is fucking chiseled ass womp, you know? But he also has his shredded abs now, as opposed to before, he was, uh, where's the fucking thing? He was uh, totally bulked up, trying to gain as much mass as possible, clearly. So it's not like he was fat or some shit. He was clearly trying to just gain size because he was a skinny guy and then he cut, bulked up and then cut down. And the fat was what was shrouding his facial features, which is exactly what fucking happens to all of us, unfortunately. But it's just a price you pay when you're trying to um, go on a growth phase. Um, so anyways, above and beyond all of that, one thing that was interesting was one of the articles that did, uh, did a piece on him says, man uses mouth exerciser to train jaw for months, but experts warn against it. So they're going over to the sky, they show one of his... One of his nutty videos where he is uh, showing off how overdeveloped his jaw is on purpose. Two months jaw training. You know, look at my look at my sick jawline here. Holy shit, my computer's so laggy. It's not even gonna work. So I'm just gonna skip it. Anyways, you guys, you guys get the fucking idea. Like the, his jaw is absurd. A man who calls himself CEO of jawline showed that we get the chiseled jawline. Model shared his look. A triangular jaw that sticks out on TikTok. It has been mu viewed millions of times. Now, if you go to the bottom, they have uh, Dr. Martina Hodgson, a dentist and Invisalign doctor at the dental studio, tells us overdeveloped masseter muscles, whether unintentional through teeth clenching, grinding, or deliberate, can cause problems such as migraines and TMJ or tempo row, <laughs> temporomandibular joint pain. Uh, these are the muscles that connect the jawbone to the cheekbone and help us to chew. So an overdevelopment in this region is not advised. And then they show the guy, you know, chewing on his little ball thing and just going ham trying to get the, uh, the womp shiz. If people develop pain from teeth clenching or grinding, even from using a facial exerciser as Luca, there are ways to reduce it. Dr. Martina adds the usual way to treat, his condition, treat this condition is to offer a course of Botox injections, which will first help to relax the muscles and then reduce inflammation, easing the pressure and assisting with comfortable chewing, which in turn will relieve Jaw pain and migraines, another option to ease this condition is, uh, if it's caused by bruxism, would be to wear a bite-raising appliance at night to help reduce the pressure on the muscle's um, abs jaw point, jaw joint. Um, another doctor, Bell Deep Pharma, medical director at Dr. Aesthetica in Birmingham, adds that Luca may come to regret all the training in a few years. Although this extreme look was created deliberately in order to achieve the appearance of an exaggerated masculine jaw, we do see a milder version of overdeveloped masseter muscles, 
which is usually due to bruxism or teeth clenching. In addition to sometimes causing pain when chewing, this look can also make the face look much older rather than more attractive. Um, he shares his look on TikTok. So the interesting thing about that is some experts in the, you know, like orthotropics realm, like uh, Mike Mew, I used to watch his stuff a couple of years back, and he actually has a video on big bolus chewing. And he, every single day, chews. As you can see, he has a pretty impressive jawline himself. The guy is uh, not as developed as uh, Luca, but he's like, you know, he's been mewing hardcore for years. He's been chewing on uh, like 14 pieces of mastic gum a day or some shit. And he's ended up with, uh, you know, pretty good development. Again, I don't know what he looked like at his baseline though. So I don't know if this is mostly just, I would assume mostly genetic body fat as well as, you know, I don't know, 10%, 20% maybe of the actual exercise regimen. I don't know for sure. But anyways, he goes on here to talk about how it's a good thing and how you should do it because when you're mewing, you're actually balancing out the whole um, broad spectrum muscular development of the entire um, you know facial system essentially when you're doing this bolus chewing. So he's, he literally has 14 pieces of fucking gum in his mouth while he's making this video. This is stick number 14. So I now have 14 sticks of chewing gum in my mouth all at one time. Um, so he does the whole video with the 14 sticks in his mouth. So anyways, uh, through the comment section, I saw something interesting where he is often regarded as one of the, like, the experts in this field on uh, development, you know, uh, TMJ, uh, malocclusion, etc., um, jaw development. This guy says, Dr. Mew, I couldn't care any less on what kind of gum a patient will chew. This is a very interesting adjunct to the Myofunctional exercises I have patients do. I have some concerns of the continuous gum chewing for a long period of time though. Isn't that like moving your knee joints for a long time? Any effects on the TMJ? I always tell my patient not to chew gum for more than five minutes. Thank you for all your work. So this is kind of going against the advice of the uh, doctors I just read that article about. So orthotropics, which is, you know, Mike Mew, as you can see at the bottom, he like hashtags his thing to say it's him. I'm guessing that you are a dental professional, which indeed the two uh, doctors in the last article were, I believe as well. My concern is that we are all living in a very strange period in human existence. Nothing is normal. If you met a hunter gatherer, you would have little in common and they, not you, are normal. <laughs> I think that you will find most of the answers to your questions here, the cause and cure of bruxism and clenching. The main thing to take away I'm assuming, is that these people wore their teeth almost completely away if they lived to a ripe age, 50 years old, with uh, little signs of any damage. Clearly, we should discuss TMD as well, which I do here um, in one of the playlists, which needs updating, but in general, I feel that you need to keep the tongue effect and the mastication effect in balance, and this is the modern problem. So it is a lack of balance, not excess chewing, which is the issue. So try tongue chewing. So anyway, he basically says in this video, what you should do is mew, tongue chewing, and the big bolus gum chewing. So, and that sort of keeps everything in balance or whatever. So I don't know, is this something that's worth adding to your routine? A whole nother fucking thing to add. I don't know if I would add this giant like rubber ball thing this guy puts in his front teeth. That seems like it might be a bit, uh, a bit much and a little bit intense. I don't really know for certain, but Seems like there's a bit of opposing viewpoints from the uh, dental community and uh, the orthotropics community. So I don't really know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you had any experience doing uh, jaw exercises and whatnot? Obviously we all know the most effective things, just get as lean as possible. That's well understood. Any of you guys who've gotten to um, single digit body fat or close to it, you know, like 10, 10 to 12%, you can, you can see the blatant difference it makes in terms of your facial, you know, features actually showing instead of just having a blob of mass surrounding it, which is the unfortunate consequence of accruing too much water and or fat during a, you know, off season or whatever. But when you actually cut down, you can actually see what you're working with and then, you know, make a judgment call on if you want to pursue, you know, like further therapies and whatnot. But anybody been a chronic, you know, like gum chewer that noticed the difference, anybody who's done the mewing thing plus the uh, gum chewing, any and all feedback, much appreciated. Obviously, this guy is a hyper extreme example of a guy who knew he had exceptional genetics for like this specific thing and then decided to take it to the extreme. Like he knows, 
I don't know how he went into this not expecting to get the response he was when he knows how overdeveloped the jaw is, and then he went out of his way to like really lean into it even harder and do the exercises. It's like, you know, it'd be like a guy with like a fucking, obviously, <laughs> obviously it wouldn't be TikTok friendly, but if you had like a 12 inch dick and you fucking put it on TikTok, and you expect people to not talk about your 12 inch dick. Like, what the fuck do you expect, dude? You're like putting the most like insane, over exaggerated thing ever on the internet and it's literally getting people to react to it with fucking music behind it. And you're literally saying nothing. You have no input on anything whatsoever except for chewing this giant rubber ball thing. Like, this is going to be the outcome, obviously. So, anyway, CEO of Jawline. I don't know how much financial incentive he has for these like rubber things or if he is actually financially motivated and in you know cahoots with those companies that advertise the shit or if he's just getting ripped off all the time because of his insane jaw but um that's it dude let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like subscribe check out my blog more plates more dates.com follow me on instagram and more plates underscore more dates facebook snapchat bitch twitter tiktok apple podcast if you want to support the channel you can check out anything i'm associated with in the video description below my trt clinic it's all telemedicine from the come for your own home gorilla mind nootropic formulas gorilla mode pre-workout formulas designed myself from scratch and anything else i'm associated with including my recommended lab tests and diagnostics. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.